I'm back. Um, I'm back with another video. I just finished rinsing my hair off of all the debris or whatever from today, any dust or anything like that, because I'm about to put in um, my aloe vera gel and my and my um, olive oil my extra virgin olive oil and coconut oil I have mixed together and I have it mixed together in a, um, in a spray bottle. And I basically been putting it on my hair. This would be the fourth night. I should have been posted this video, but this is my, my second time doing a video today ever. So I just, I don't know. I just decided to do it today. And, um, so I'm like four days in already of doing this every night. So I just rinsed my hair and another video but some kind of way i deleted the video i'm trying to figure this out so i need y'all to bear with me but once i master this i'm gonna be good at it but right now i'm just basically um i'm gonna make mistakes so i'm not perfect so now i'm gonna go and show you how to show you the stuff i mixed together this is olive vera gel and extra virgin olive oil and also a little coconut oil that I put together. I've done this in the past and it really does good for my hair. It makes my hair grow fast and um, it's very um, moisturizing and it helps with, um, with keeping your hair. It helps with keeping your hair in good condition and healthy and moisturized. So. Let's get to it. Um, I would show you how I made it and everything, but it's already made. And like I said, I'm four days in. I only got a little bit left, so I'll probably be buying another aloe leaf tomorrow. So I'll be able to show you the whole process on how I do it. I wanted to do this for seven days straight. So um, I'm just going to start putting it in and then I'm going to show you what I do from there. So I just basically, I just start putting it in my hair. And rubbing it in. Oh. I don't need a whole lot because I don't have no hair. So you have a little bit. Yep, I think that's. Yeah, I still got some more left in there. I probably have enough for one more tomorrow, but I I know I'm gonna wind up buying some more because I don't like trying to struggle to get stuff out of nothing. So, but anyway, once I put it in, I sit there, but I I I I massage it in for a while, and I let it sit in my hair, and I keep it in my hair with a plastic cap. And I just make sure that I massage all the areas really good. Because you want to stimulate the hair growth. You want to stimulate the blood flow in your head. Which will in turn stimulate your hair growth. Just a fun fact, I'm from New York, but I live in Georgia now. But when I was in New York, I used to, um, I used to grow people here. I used to braid people here and that was my hair business. And I used to have people here growing. I could grow your hair from a Caesar. So I'm good at stuff like this. I love doing stuff like this. I can give you a lot of tips on how to get your hair to grow fast. So, I don't look at hair as it being that important to me because my hair does not define me. My hair is not going to change my face. 
Whether I appear or not, I still look good, so I don't care. The hair is not going to make or break me because this hair is going to grow back. Because a lot of people were shocked that I cut my hair off after having it so long. Five years of having locks. Watch how fast my hair grow back. So after I massage it all in, I need to take the plastic cap, put it on, and then I take this bonnet, and I put that over it. To kind of fill it in. And then I go to sleep. But I'm not going to sleep yet. I'm going to be up for a while. So. Okay, so that's basically it. That's how I, this is how I um do my hair every night before I go to bed this week. That's how I've been doing my hair. I was having fun with it. I'm just going to sit here and talk with y'all for a little while. But I was having fun with it. And I was going to bed with nothing on my head. And I know I probably messed up my mascara. And everything but it's okay y'all just saw me dip my head under some water so I'm sure y'all will understand so but yeah I had a uh, I had a good time when I first cut my hair off I couldn't believe I did it and I just went on and I was just I just felt so free and so happy that I didn't have no hair I was just so happy I had my hair I just basically uh, doing the most Cause you know, I felt trapped. I had all that hair on my head and it was so heavy, you know, and sometimes you make your neck hurt, your head be hurting, your hair be sore, your head be sore, everything. So it's just like, it was just too much. So I just felt like I needed a change and I wanted to do something different. So this is something different. I like to go drastic when I do different. So that's what I did. I basically, Jumped out the window. And when I jumped out that window, cut off my hair. So now, I'm doing my new hair journey. And I'm also going to start a weight gain journey as well. So you can come with me on that. But I want to get my body to be a certain way. So I'm going to be doing stuff to transform my body into the way I want my body. So I'm excited to start that too. So y'all could come with me on that journey and on my hair journey. I have a bunch of journeys I want to do, but right now I think I'm going to start with this hair journey and maybe with the weight gain journey because I want to gain some weight. So I'm just running out of things to say now. So on that note, YouTube, I did my first video. This is my first long video. So I'm excited about that. I will be posting at least two to three times a week I'm going to try to post or even more than that. Once I get used to it and get the hang of it, I know I'm going to be able to do it better than this. But right now, this is just my first my first little trial run at it. And I just wanted to make it as um, true to you as possible. Because I, I, I like to come real. I don't want to come at y'all and be pretending. Or I don't have time for that. I'd rather come at you real and come at you hard. That's how I am. I, I just shoot straight from the hip, and I'm going to be myself regardless. So, you take me or leave me, love me or hate me, but this is me. So, it's been real, and I will see you soon, YouTube, and thank you for watching. And if you like this content, if anything in this video interests you, then I ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.
I've been with you for. 